Hi, I'm Ray McManus, writer in residence, Columbia Museum of Art. Uh, like many of you, stuck here at home, trying to get through all of this. Uh, as part of the Museum from Home series and to celebrate National Poetry Month, I thought I'd walk around the yard and share a few new poems with you that I think might be appropriate given our situation. Hopefully, when all this is said and done, We'll get to see each other again in person. And who knows? Maybe even get to share a hug. Thanks. Calculus for a disappearing South. There are more than enough dirt roads in the South to bury a body deeper than the one before. How much distance is needed for a car traveling 47 miles an hour to cave in a shoulder when the road scraper is present? Start with nothing. Start with entire albums. Start in the back through the smoke and hiss of six benign speakers and take every rut, every washboarded ripple and call it Friday night. Multiply the distance by body weight. The next night, take the holes and repeat the trek until out of gas or out of beer, mark it as graduation. Solve X by Y, where X is the road and Y is the sand pit. Divide by the number of friends who died there, carry the one. Solve for square root, circle common denominator, bury what you can. The names become the numbers, the dust subtracting what you're told. These are variables that like to stay hidden because there's nothing to hold, just bits that float through the canopy of scrub oak and loblolly, like ash that scatters in the wind. Sometimes it lands in your mouth. Sometimes you swallow. Ask Lamont. One day you can have all this. The creek bed that opens its arm in the rainy season like a brittle creature shaking under the weight of invitation. The breath of a three-year-old as she whispers in the middle of the night that she has to go to the bathroom and doesn't come back. Somewhere between the tongue of a gecko over a desert rock and the helpless eyes of a goldfish that says, if I could kiss you, it would be forever. Kindness, though often unnoticed like the smooth edge of a leather belt, the center of a man's belly, not his gut, but just as soft as the way to his heart. A night, just one night, without a single star falling, a blanket, just one blanket that shields you against the cold rantings of a mad winter. That shirt left outside last summer when the rest of the concrete was poured for the patio. The way we circulate around long goodbyes, the adventures that never end in a cul-de-sac. Homo habitus. I'd like to say I haven't changed but evolution doesn't work that way. I'm here now in this cutout landscape of row houses and cul-de-sacs where there once was a field, where there once was a forest, where boys and girls run in separate packs, where it's everyone for themselves and we hide from our neighbors and keep their tools because it's too damn hot to go outside anymore. So I pay for cable, all of it. The bundles, the half-off deals, the premium channels, the turbo, the super strength, the warp speed. And I stare out the window with my thumb on the remote because there's nothing on the television. And I'm dying here every day. I'd like to say with the same confidence that I'm coming back, that it's just another trip too long or too many, where I should take a right, when I should take a left or don't, and sit somewhere sit here and with an ache and a wedge in my lap to negotiate simple things, the lung, the bladder, and how I can change what I see in a matter of seconds and how I can't. The truth is I can wait here forever. I don't even have to come back because I never left in the first place. This is worship. This is worship for Colonel Steve Austin for McGarrett and Rockford, for Charles Ingalls and Ponch, 
for Henry Blake and Magnum, for the worship and praise for every man, every channel, every day. On bended knee, there will be belief in the buy-in. There will be belief in the shift, how it can only get better. All the ethos, all the pageantry, the prophets and the prophets. We doubt in the rise, we sift in the fall, because how else would we know when we are so wild with our sorrow? I'd like to say, with the same faith, a complete man exists. He is the dark and the light. He is the force that burns out apartments and spits at the sky while the rest of us hide because we can't speak, can't speak of it, don't want to. Praise you, OxyClean. Praise you, Just For Men. Praise you, Clearasil. Praise you, Kitchen Crashers. Praise you, Polident. Praise you, Bear Paints exclusively at Home Depot. Praise you, McRib. Praise you, Bowflex and the Total Gym. Praise you, Botox and Androgel. Because I will never wear the cape and I will never carry gods on my shoulders. And I'll let the word of commercial Jesus fall from my lips. And I'll wear his stains like badges, like lyrics scrawled on my shirt. Because I can. Because I can always be here. Because I can always trade skins. Because I can always be new and improved. Thank you.